Hello, my name is Deanna and in this video we'll be looking at a variety of different masking fluids, different brands, different papers to see what works best on what. But first, if you like these videos, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more of them. And if you want to improve your watercolour skills, then please download my free watercolour guide with tips and tricks to help fast track your skills. The masking fluids I am testing for this experiment are Frisk's Blue and White Mask, Windsor & Newton Art Masking Fluid, De La Rowney Art Masking Fluid, and a mask pen. I'm also going to try the ruling pen for the first time, which I bought for this experiment. The papers I'll be testing are Aquafine from De La Rowney, Langton, again by De La Rowney, Bocking Food, Fabriano Artistico, Saunders Waterford, and Arsh's Watercolour Paper. So for this experiment, I'm going to first lay down a layer of pigment, a little wash there. I'm going to be doing this on every sheet. The idea is that when I lay down the masking fluid on top of it and then remove it, it will be very clear and obvious where any of the paper has torn or if it's lifted any of the pigment from underneath. So we get a really good look at which masking fluid is best. I'm using a size 10 sable watercolour brush with De La Rowney Artist Watercolours. I then set these aside to dry because the paint must be fully dried before applying masking fluid. First up is the mask pen. It has a thin plastic nozzle that allows the masking fluid to flow through. There are thinner ones available with metal applicators. This is the one I have available now. I did find that I am getting in some areas a bit more masking fluid coming out than I actually intended. So it's very flowy, so be careful not to make a mess with this one. Thankfully, it comes with a little needle-like point in the lid, which helps keep the applicator nice and clear. I'm also using the wrong end of my brush as a tool to get a large area of my masking fluid down. Next is Windsor & Newton Art Masking Fluid. For the remaining masking fluid, I'm going to be using the ruling pen. As I said, this is the first time I'm trying it and I got it especially for you guys for this video. And a quick note on the ruling pen, I'm blown away by how well it works. It makes such thin, delicate lines and those little dots are so precise. I just never thought it could be that good. And then we've got De La Rowney Art Masking Fluid. This one appears to have a bit more yellow pigment in it. The following candidates are from Frisk. First the blue mask and then the white. So I repeated the application of masking fluid on the remainder of the other sheets so that all six of them were exactly the same. And then I also added a bit of masking tape on the end there just to see what that does. To test out the masking fluid properly, I'm layering another wash on top. I am leaving the bottom bit clear though because when I peel off the masking fluid, I want to be able to see if it's tinted the paper at all because you can see all the masking fluids, apart from the white one, have a pigment in them of some sort and I want to see how this affects the paper.
With a clean damp brush, I dab away any of the paint sitting on top of the masking fluid. The last thing I want is for that to dry and then transfer over to the paper when I remove the masking fluid. I don't know if that's ever happened to you, but it's definitely happened to me. The paper must be allowed to fully dry before removing the masking fluid. My favourite way of removing masking fluid is actually with my hands and with my fingers. Um, I quite enjoy it, it's quite fun. If you do this, please remember to wash your hands uh, beforehand because the last thing you want is to get skin oils all over your painting. So that is very satisfying to do that, to see it all clean. Here are the completed samples, all in their varying degrees. So starting with Aquafine from Dale Rowney, it's clear the paint has been lifted off by the masking fluid, but it did not tear the paper at all. And the masking tape in the top right corner there, where it was sitting on top of the pigment, across the board on all sheets and types of paper, um, it looks like it's bled through so it didn't stick on properly. The Langton, I was a little bit surprised how badly it did because it's obvious that it's actually torn the paper in quite a lot of areas. Predominantly the blue mask and the mask pen, they've picked up a lot of the paper. And then the pigment's been lifted off from all masking fluids. So that one did not fare very well at all. Bockingford didn't do too well either. I've got a little tiny bit of tearing as well. Again, the mask pen and the blue mask and it looks like the white mask has lifted the most pigment off there that's really really faint there Fabriano Artistico fared quite a lot better that didn't tear at all you can still see where the pigment's been lifted but actually it's not that bad and then on this one it's most obvious where the masking fluids have tinted the paper so you can really see that the Dale Rowney one is quite yellow, Windsor and Newton a little bit yellow and then the blue mask and the mask pen, the mask pen sorry, um, are a little bit tinted and then the white mask it's very very faintly there but it's still there so you can see that all of them technically do still taint your paper in one way or another it's just they're at varying degrees of how much they take your paper. The downside to the white masking fluid is that it's harder to see on the paper and therefore harder to remove. Next is Saunders Waterford and this one I was incredibly blown away by. You can hardly see any of the pigment having been lifted off. It's not torn at all. It's basically got hardly any damage from the masking fluid whatsoever. It's clearly done incredibly well. And last but not least is Arches. This one did not do as well as I hoped. Um, the pigment has been lifted off quite obviously from there. You can see some white spots as well. I don't think it's torn, it's just lifted it off quite adequately. The winners amongst the watercolour papers for being the best at withstanding masking fluid are as follows. First place, Saunders Waterford. Second place, Fabriano Artistico. Third place, Arches. Fourth place, Aquafine by Dale Rowney. Fifth place goes to Bockingford. And sixth place burr, burr, goes to Langton by Dale Rowney. Oh dear. The winners amongst the masking fluid, in my opinion and evident from this experiment, are as follows. First place, Frisk Artist White Mask. Tied for second place are the Mask Pen and Frisk Artist Blue Mask. Third place goes to Windsor & Newton Art Masking Fluid and last place goes to De La Rowney Art Masking Fluid which can share its spot with the masking tape.
So I hope you've enjoyed the, this experiment. Write in a comment below what is your favourite masking fluid to use and on what paper. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.